Find out you'll have to see the new live concert movie from The Cure titled Show, which is getting a late night screening in selected cinemas across Europe. We had the choice, obviously, when we were touring with the idea of making a film to, to make it something more than a concert, you know, to, um, but in the end, I'm glad that we've decided just to, to make it purely a concert film. The weird thing is that that's been the one criticism of it, is there is no other footage, you know, there's no interviews, there's no backstage stuff, and yet when we did the play-out video a couple of years ago, we got hammered because it was all backstage and interviewing. It can't win me. The, the best parts of the, of the film are, are the parts where we're oblivious to the cameras. Actually, there's a lot of footage where um, the cameras got in the way, they got too close, and things look uncomfortable because we're not really used to that. Um, I mean, we were just trying to capture the essence of us on stage last year, like the essence of the show that we were playing. Um, and I think it comes pretty close. It's a film that will be enjoyed by people who like the group. I don't think we ever expected to reach an audience wider than we've already got. But it's a record of, of, a, of a lineup and a, and of a part of the group that's, that's now gone. But I think maybe in like five years' time, it will, or even longer, it will bear closer scrutiny. And people will probably enjoy it more because they'll be distanced from it. And they'll think, oh, that's what the cure were like. <laughs> if we were to be remembered for just that one song, I, I'd, I'd personally like it to be from the Edson Deep and Sea. I think it's got lots of good ingredients, it's got a good tune, it's got a good beat, it's got a very high energy level, the words rhyme. <laughs> We'll have like about six or seven more songs on it. We'll have the encores on it, which obviously I mean, the film, like another thing was decided very early on was that it wouldn't exceed 90 minutes because I don't think you can hold someone's attention to the cinema for more than that, unless it's a particularly gripping story, which is one thing that the, the live film isn't. And the film proceeds two new live albums from the band, which will be released in September.